Today is all about fitting in to the schedule that is. You're being squeezed by the late running Southampton bound freight, so set up your cab and be on your way as soon as you can. Be aware that you'll be following a stopping service from Didcot Parkway onwards and may be held up there. Release those brakes. I've got our uh, daylights on. Wipers, how many brakes off yet? Got bogey containers, so are all right with the uh, normal air. Cheers, Joe. Thanks for uh, stopping in. Mr. Pyman, yeah, I'm doing. Am I doing scenarios in America right now? At the moment, I'm doing scenarios in the UK. I actually haven't done an American scenario tonight. We did a German scenario first, so we did the Cologne Koblenz uh, with a nice one. Then we did the one we just finished, which was the Portsmouth direct line, and that was uh, with the uh, class 444. And now we're doing the Great Western Main Line, um, London to Oxford, and we're doing that with a class 66 Freightliner. Uh, and then tomorrow we're going to do a couple of American lines. Yeah, the brake sleever is a is a diamond because it's um, it works differently. It's got PBL brakes, so you, um, you if you move it up all the way, then you see this line goes down, and then if you move it down all the way, this line goes up, and then it moves the brakes uh, as it needs to. Right, where are we going? Stop at Digger Parkway. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, that is in eight and a half miles. Looks like we've got another yellow light up here. In fact, we're up to double now, so let's get moving. Oh no, we've got 25 limit. Can't go that fast. Hey, Marcus Fuddus, welcome. Microsound 94, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Light's gone to green. Let's get back onto the correct side. Now we're coming out of the yard. <coughs> and we've got 90 mile per hour.
you're right, I should have used the uh, train notes button, that would have been a much cleverer way of doing it. So I've got 5.7 miles to a stop in Dinkle Parkway. Yes, Dean, this is the London to Oxford route. An oldie but still a goodie. No goodie, there's uh, EWS um, operate them, Freightliner operate them. Uh, they even operate them in Germany. But they're not called Class 66s, they've got other names like BR266. I think there's some updates for it on Workshop Dean. I'm sure I've seen some people that have done that. Yes, Tornado Ben? 66 in Freightliner livery. Calling a mixture of uh, mixture of wagons. Not much of a mixture, two different wagons, but a mixture.
still got green. Two point six miles to uh, Didcot. Yeah, yellow approach signal then, slowing down. Of course, I've got a 40 speed limit back uh, up coming up. I like the GBR F66s. Some of them have got some really nice artwork on them. It's not just the, um, the sort of the colour, the standard livery. They've also got some really nice pictures on them. Got a red light coming up in front of us. Yes, Woody. I think that was announced uh, recently on uh, Facebook, wasn't it? Okay. That horn. yellow so we don't have to worry The one with the cargo ship on the side. I also like the one that the um, they had a competition. I think it might be the rainbow livery one, where some kids actually designed the uh, the livery, which I thought was really good. But their trains are always bright and colourful, which I like. Hey Mr. Pyman, thanks for the follow, much appreciated. 
if you want to check out other videos anybody if you don't already know about it look at the links above at the top of the stream screen uh, so any, every um, scenario that I've done is uh, is also recorded on demand um, for YouTube so you can always go and have a look on YouTube at anything you've missed um, the ones from tonight will be up sometime tomorrow morning Message from the signal and proceed when the signal allows you. This is a busy junction, however, it should be clear in the next couple of minutes. We're just waiting on a Morton and Marsh service to cross over to the Didcot loop. Hey, Vice City and Vicky Cat, welcome to the uh, channel this evening. Good to have you with us. Thanks very much, United Terry. Got a, almost got a screenshot that's not too that's pretty good there. I like it. <clears throat> that's pretty cool. Can I go yet? No, I can't go yet. So I haven't really said anything about this scenario yet, which is a bit off for me. Um, so this is um, south, e south East to Eastleigh, and it's by Daily Rail, who's on the channel at the moment. It's a workshop scenario. Uh, Great Western Main Line driving a Class 66 brake liner. So, uh, when you're searching for it on um, Workshop, um, it's the, the word Eastley is actually misspelled with the I and the E the other way around. So, uh, if you look for Eastley with the I and the E flipped, it should come up straight away. It took me a minute to find it, but it is there. There's a Morton and Marsh.
I think so, Tornado. It's quite a iconic loco from the uh, area. Oh, I've got a green light. One more sitting here waiting for. And now I'm pressing semicolon in all the wrong places. I press semicolon in the chat window, or W, or A, or D, more often than I do in the game sometimes. Was a nice little sequence with some AI trains. I will go and take a look in a little while, Tornado Ben, maybe tomorrow. That's an excellent idea, Doc. Oh, is that a yellow light I see before me? It is. Let's cut the power then. Twitch, yes, Tornado Ben. If you just send a message, a private message on Twitch. Ah, I'm pressing the A key in the wrong window again. And that would be the EWS version of the 66. Green light, let's speed up a bit. <clears throat> We're now holding up the network behind us. A 
I haven't a clue, I'm afraid. Uh, tornado Ben. Passenger scenarios with delays here, oh, I don't know. South London Network and London to Brighton have you've got a good mixture of uh, passenger challenges. And with the mixed route that's on workshop you can actually blend the two routes together as well. Green light still. Oops, speeding up then, dude. Mr. Dandick, welcome to the uh, channel this evening. So we're going to Reading, which is 11 miles away. Hey Dean, um, they have to be specially made to do that and someone who, has to, who know, really knows what they're doing has to do it, it's not plug and play. But yeah, South, if you own South London Network and London Brighton, then um, someone uploaded a route they'd merged together with the two and they'd added all the extra bits and knitted it all together. Um, so South London Network and London Brighton are joined together uh, as a route on Workshop, but you have to obviously own both of the other routes.
power it up a bit more. It's a good little scenario, this. There's some nice AI. Enough of a challenge that you can't just uh, leave it on autopilot. But not too much of a challenge. It's, easy. it's a reasonably easy scenario, medium sort of difficulty. Eman Zero Kremeren, welcome to the uh, channel this evening. Welcome Daily Rail, thank you for that. Thank you for the scenario. How are we doing? Any sign of this signal yet? Microsan, I play with the keyboard mostly, the mouse occasionally, and I also use the Xbox controller. Probably more the Xbox controller when I'm at work and more the keyboard when I'm at home. Mostly because my Xbox controller, I've run out of USB ports on my computer, I need to buy a hub. And uh, so I can't actually plug the wireless res um, transmitter receiver in. I do quite like using the Xbox controller though. It's a yellow, so we're good to go. Four point three five miles to uh, Reading. Welcome back, Gaza. Three and a half miles to go now.
No, I, for I keep forgetting to do that, Dave. I need to get make sure I do that with all the ones from tonight. But double yellow. Oh, it's just gone to approaching. Approach control. <laughs> I guess I'm doing it try I'm trying to overspeed doing the YouTube thing as well. Glory nineteen, tomato pluckers, welcome to the channel this evening. Good to have you with us. 1.6 miles to Reading up goods receiving. I haven't yet, Dave, but it's right at the top of my inbox, asterisk, so that it doesn't get forgotten. It's like I haven't had a chance to go through a lot of the screenshots that have been sent through, so uh, they're sitting in the top of my inbox as well. <clears throat> so that one won't get forgotten. I'm going to get that one done. Try and maybe do it later on this week, actually. <clears throat> I don't know if everybody's seen, by the way, that Friday is the festival twitch, so Friday 7.30 GMT. Uh, in the evening, I will be doing the um, hosting the uh, dovetail twitch. Uh, and then back from 9.30, I'll be back to doing my one again. That doesn't sound like a problem, Doc. <laughs> This should be a single with a feather, it is indeed. Now we're at the 25, ready to go in. Not yet, Doc. Send me a message to remind me the link for it so that I don't forget because I had actually forgotten about that one. Yeah, we're nearly there. Just got to pull up to the uh, the stop and then we can uh, end the scenario. You know that's likely to happen, Dave. 
but they're close to one where I nearly fa I failed really at the end and the 101 where I actually failed almost at the end mind you the 101 I failed right at the beginning when I totally missed a stop <laughs> oops <laughs> Thank you, Doc. How we doing? This week's festival is the Portsmouth Direct Line, so if you head over to Engine Driver Dave, you can find out all about it and all the DLC that's uh, part of it. Scenario complete, we'll be waiting here for a while before we continue south to Eastleigh. Welcome back Ed, just in time. <laughs> so that was uh, South East at Eastleigh by Daily Rail uh, on the GWML with the Class 66 or 8 lineup. Oh yes, tonight we have uh, we have done well tonight. I'm quite pleased with tonight after last night where I sort of left banging my head slowly against whatever was near was near. Tonight I'm quite pleased. Right, I am going to bed. So uh, thank you very much for watching. We are done for the evening. We'll be back tomorrow, 21.30 GMT. And uh, we'll have some more fun with trains. All right. Don't forget to sign up and join the uh, Steam group and Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and the blog. And you know what you need to do. All right. <laughs> Thanks very much again. Good. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.